hi guys you're welcome back again to my channel you're welcome yet to another video if you are just finding my channel for the first time thank you so much for clicking on this video ah nepa thank god <laughs> and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always returning back for my content so as always guys today i'm going to be doing a skincare product review and like you can tell from the caption i'm going to be reviewing the Nivea perfect and radiant even tone face cream and um, if you're interested in hearing all i have to say about this product please keep on watching yes welcome back guys so this is the Nivea perfect and radiant even tone day cream it contains spf 15 my camera is refusing to focus oh lord today is not a good day for filming anyway my camera is refusing to focus i was trying to show you guys the spf it contains spf 15 too bad i've thrown the carton away because it comes in a tiny small box um um this is a 15 ml container and it's a day cream i used it only in the daytime like they indicated on the packaging and then um, what do i think about this screen um what do i like about this screen first of all i like the fact that it contains some fpf S spf spf 15 is one of the ingredients in this cream even though i feel like it's not sufficient enough but at least it's good that it contains spf so if you're someone that is in the market for something that does kind of like both for you both um a face cream to moisturize your face and also um protect you from the sun this is something i'll definitely advise you to go for um another thing i like about this cream is the smell like Nivea, you guys know Nivea and Dove. I feel like they are brothers and sisters in here. So it has a really soft, calming smell. Nothing, the fragrance is not irritating or choking or anything like that. So that's another thing I like about it, in addition to the fact that it has SPF. Another thing I like about the cream is that it doesn't take long to dissolve into the body. You don't really have to do much in terms of working it into your skin. Uh, what else do I like about it? Okay, another thing I like about it is that it's pretty pretty affordable, especially if you are using it just as a day cream. It's going to last you a while. I got this jar for 2,800, although you can find it in some stores for 2,005 or 3,000. The highest I've ever purchased it was 3,000. This is actually my third container um, of this Nivea face cream. Yes. So those are all the things i like about it now let me take you to what i do not really like about this face cream one thing i don't like about this face cream is that um it's just there like how do i put it when you apply it on your face it doesn't really give you that shiny outcome yes that's what i'm looking for it doesn't give you that shiny outcome it finishes off like you rubbed powder on your face so your face is just there I me mean, i like my face to be shining and glowing at the same time but this one it doesn't shine it doesn't glow but you are moisturized do you understand yes it just keeps you moisturized it doesn't glow your face up or anything it just how do i put it it just hydrates you exactly it just hydrates you it doesn't make your face plumpy it doesn't tone it, don't, it did not tell me yes that's another thing i need to mention about this cream it says that um it's an even toned cream but i didn't find that it toned me the way other products i've used in the past like i've seen visible toning this Nivea did not really do that for me i cannot say that it did not help to um how do i put it now make my skin look better because like i said in my previous video if you haven't watched my ole quench lotion video please check it out because i was using the ole quench on my body and using this on my face and then um, my face began to improve but it worked very very slowly like it worked very slowly so i started to see results on my third jar 
Uh -huh. And even the result I was seeing was not as sufficiently or effectively toning as I would have loved. So that's something about this lotion. In addition to the fact that it doesn't give you a shiny, oily finish, it gives you a matte finish. It um, what was that thing I was saying just now? Yes, it doesn't. It's not a powerful toner. It doesn't. It won't tone out your skin rapidly or very fast. I started to see result on my third bottle, so that's something I need to mention. And I wasn't particularly happy with it because I needed sharp, sharp result with a safe product. That was what made me um, decide to try this. But who is this face cream good for? If you're somebody that is looking to maintain, like you've gotten the. Um, you've toned to a certain extent and you want to just maintain that color this is something to go in with because it won't brighten you too sharply it will do it over time gently that you won't even notice and it will also maintain um, that skin tone that you've um, achieved with other um, how do I put it more effective and um, really brightening product so yes that is that about this Nivea Even Tone Cream. I already told you guys the price. I bought this second jar, this third jar for 2800 The first one I bought it for 2005 The second one I bought it for 3000 Naira. You can purchase it on Jumia or in shops. Um, there's nothing about the ingredients of this container because I've thrown that one away. And then um, this um, product is made in Thailand. Um, who can use this um, this face cream? Every skin type, in my opinion, can use this face cream without getting any um, undesirable result. But if you are looking for something that will really tone you and brighten you up, this is not something to go for. But if you just want something to maintain your... Um, how do I put it? To maintain the skin tone that you have, that you are currently comfortable with over time, this is something to... Um, this is one body face cream I would strongly recommend. It's such a small jar, yes, but it will last you a while. So that is that about this uh, Nivea Perfect and Radiant Even Tone Day Cream. Did I use it at night? No, brethren, I did not use it at night. I was using my Retinol face cream at night, so that also helped. So I use this one only during the daytime as it contains SPF. Why would I be using SPF product at night? Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Um, please let me know what you think about this video. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think about the product if you've tried it out before. And um, yes, if you've not subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.